Turkey's fighter jet program sped ahead as the Russian company expressed interest Ankara, Turkey, Turkey's program for the design, development and production of the country's first indigenous fighter jet rose in late April when two local major contractors joined forces to design production schemes for key parts. Meanwhile, in a surprise move the attention of the Russian Aerospace expressed interest in developing a machine to power the TFX, a Turkish fighter in its manufacture. On April 26, two strategic local contractors from the TFX program, Iselsen's military electronics specialist, Turkey's largest defense company, and Turkish aerospace industry, signed a memorandum of understanding to share work on planned aircraft. Under the memorandum, Iselsen and Thai, the two state-controlled companies, will work together to develop an important system for TFX, including national radar, electro-optical systems, mission control systems and the integration of these systems into future aircraft. Earlier this year, the Turkish government set aside an initial investment of 4.817 billion lire, US 1.178 billion dollars in the conceptual design phase of the TFX program. Investment plans have been taken under government incentive schemes. The Turkish procurement official has confirmed Russian interest in plans for the development of a machine that will drive the TFX. There is interest in Russia in this regard, but it is too early to say if the idea will get further ground, an official said. A Turkish diplomat said Turkish political ties with Russia were very good, adding that the current political ties pave the way for deeper military and procurement cooperation. Cause concerns in the capital of NATO, members, the Turkish government announced DEC. 29 that Ankara and Moscow have completed contracts for the acquisition and deployment of Russia's S-400 long-range air defense system in Turkish soil. The contract is worth about $2.5 billion. And Turkish officials say there may be a follow-up to the new supply of the S-400, or to the more advanced S-500 system. Viktor Kladov Director of International Cooperation and Regional Policy at Rostec, the Russian defense conglomerate, told reporters at the Eurasia Air Show in Antalya, Turkey that his company will prepare a proposal for cooperation with Turkey on aircraft engines. We can supply machines, he said. Rostec, founded in 2007, brings together 700 Russian entities including specialists in military technology, weapons, military equipment, and aircraft engineering. Turkey's ambitious TFX program is currently awaiting the support of a critical president. After the formal resignation of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, the program will race ahead. Procurement officials say, TFX and other indigenous people's main development program is the Erdogan pet project. The next critical stage is Turkey's decision to choose a machine for the TFX. Officials familiar with the program say that talks with a number of potential technology suppliers and their local partners have just matured. They say the idea is to rely on foreign technology to build on long-term original engines that will drive the TFX. In October 2016, the Rolls-Royce machine maker offered a joint production partnership to Turkey with a view to turning on the planned Turkish platform and potential sales to third parties. British company proposals involved production units in Turkey to produce engines for TFX as well as for helicopters, tanks, and missiles. A year before that, in October 2015, 
A memorandum of understanding was signed between Turkey and Rolls-Royce for knowledge of technology and production units. Under the plan, Rolls-Royce will launch a sophisticated manufacturing and technology center in Turkey, the company's eighth unit worldwide. Meanwhile, Tusa's Engine Industries, a state-controlled machine maker, is currently working to improve the 20-year roadmap for the design, development and manufacture of local aircraft engines as well as for the purpose of powering the TFX. TAI is a sister company of TAI, the main local contractor of the TFX program. Turkey wants to build TFX with knowledge from base systems. In January 2017, Britain and Turkey signed a deal worth more than 100 million pounds, US $137 million, to develop Turkish fighter jets. The deal involves TAI and base systems. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to military updates thanks for subscribing likes and comments thank you my friend source www.defensenews.com